Hello, everybody. It's your girl K Shadow back with another episode of 14 Days of Fruits Basket. Today it's day two, and like always, we're I'm we're going for another classic couple of the manga. So, and just so you guys know, I'm doing this in order of somewhat importance or of appearance. So today I'm doing Yuki and his girlfriend slash future wife, Machi. Okay, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh my god, K Shadow, why'd you draw why'd you draw these two? Like like Yuki, Yuki Toru forever, blah blah blah. Honestly, I think these two work much better than than Yuki and Toru, mostly because of the fact that even in the manga, Yuki admits that he loves he loves Toru as much as a mother. Like he's he pretty much loves her only because of the fact that he confuses love for a maternal love. And in all honesty, I think it kind of for for these two, I think they they're both like very shattered characters and they all they both kind of kind of kind of fit in their own unique way and <laughs> oh yeah this part <laughs> I was having so much fun with that anyway at first I was kind of under the impression like oh seeing how Yuki can't have have Toru the mangaka decided to make make Machi and then then just after rereading the manga some more and like when I first first read this and saw him ending up with Machi I was kind of like okay what okay whatever eh. but in all honesty I think I think it but I kind of fits like a lot of people are gonna a lot of people just see them as like, oh, Machi is the replacement for Toru and blah blah blah. But I actually like Machi because of the fact that she's so much more different than Toru. So, like, the one way I describe it is there was this one fanfiction that I read where the opening quote was, he's shattered and she loves to shatter. So that's kind of how I feel about them. Like at first you see Machi and she's very broken, she's very unhinged and everything and, and, it, and I think being with Yuki kind of gives her more meaning in my personal opinion. Like and I I probably I'm not, not probably explaining this all that well, but <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to get you guys to like this pairing as much as I do. Like, I'm one of those people that like whenever I read a manga or something like that where there are multiple pairings in it, I'm like I prefer the ones that are actually like quote unquote canon to the series. Like I'm just one of those people that doesn't like like the crack I don't really like the crack ships and random ships as much. I prefer ones that actually have a chance to actually like grow and blossom. Like I'm not the ones where I'm not a big fan of like ships that are just completely 100% made up. Yeah. And although I do like canon ships, I do like ones that are within reason. <laughs> so don't think that I like all canon ships and all that, so you're probably not thinking that. But just so you know! <laughs> okay, I think we're close to the end of the video. Like, but honestly, I like how this turned out. It was It's simple but cute. And there are my stars, <laughs> because I love them. Oh, there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys in day three. Bye!